Hello, the date is 19th of March 2020. So just like many other European countries, Luxembourg has been put in some, some form of lockdown where people are asked to stay at home, to telework if it's possible, to not go visit friends or family or relatives in order to uh, slow down the spread of the coronavirus. So um, just because uh, scientists have asked me to do it and because I listen to scientists, I will shave my beard that I haven't shaved in, I guess, something like five or six years. So I wanted to immortalize this uh, moment because who knows, after the, after the crisis, I will probably grow it back and hopefully I will get to keep it for as long as possible. So I never shaved my beard while it was this long. So, um, yeah, as I said, it's been something five years, maybe. Well, before having a full beard, I had a goatee. Uh, so if I take the goatee into account, it's even less. I mean, it's even longer. So let's see. Let's see. Here goes nothing. I don't I don't even remember how you do it to be honest. There we go. Oh god. So they say that the virus could stay alive on your beard for quite some time. So I really want to minimize the risk of infections because at some point we will have to get out for grocery shopping. We do have a lot of food. As soon as Italy was hit, I started buying stuff because I was anticipating the lockdown. So we do have a lot of food, but yeah, at some point, at some point I will have to leave the house, get some groceries. So that's why I want to minimize the risk for myself, for my wife, for my daughter. I'll I'll keep oh god I'll, leave, I'll keep the mustache just to see how I look with the mustache because I I've never tried. There's, there was also something floating around. Jesus, look at that! There's something floating around on social media. I don't know if it was an official document from the CDC where they were uh, you know telling men. Uh, what type of beards were compatible with masks. I don't know if this was an official thing or if it was some kind of fake news, but I do know that fully grown beards are not really recommended if you have to wear masks. And that's actually why uh, Hitler had his, um, his own little mustache style, apparently. A, uh, he shaved like that during World War I to be able to fit a mask in case there was some kind of a chemical attack. And then he just kept doing it. Quite funny, and then I've been reading these papers about the virus and how long it survives on surfaces. And uh, yeah. I guess shaving is not a bad idea. Damn, I have a small head. I really have a small head. Jesus. You, you forget the size of your head after so many years without looking at it. So as I'm speaking, Luxembourg has had uh, 335, I guess, sick people 
the first case was February 29th, if I remember correctly. Unfortunately, there has been four dead people. Uh, hopefully, these numbers will not keep growing at the rate they've been, but uh, it looks like we're on the same path as uh, other countries like Italy or Spain or France. And it is a bit worrying, especially because Luxembourg, if you don't know, has a lot, a lot, a lot of people. Oh boy. Has a lot, a lot of people coming from uh, France, Germany, and Belgium to work. So, as I was explaining, the people that can telework, so that's very nice. But a lot of them cannot telework. So, um, especially uh, healthcare professionals, we have a lot of healthcare, healthcare professionals that come from this country. And uh, hopefully they will uh, be able to keep continuing coming and, and helping the uh, Luxembourgish population. Because if not, it can be catastrophic. So, let's have a look at the moustache. It really feels weird. Oh boy, how do... damn. Yeah, I'll shake that off. Okay, let's take a look. Oh boy. Hello, I'm Bruno and I'm 14. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> We're back, so uh, yeah. I'm 14 now, again. Time to use the trusted alum stone to disinfect. It's burning! It's burning! The face! Jesus! So yeah, it's been something like... Yeah, something like six years or more. Because as I said before, I, I, before the, having a full beard, I had a goatee for a really long time. I even think that I had the goatee from before I started my PhD, and I, I had, so I started my PhD in 2012. So I think like a, a fully shaved face, I haven't had that for more than eight years, if I think about it. So, uh, yeah. So I told my wife I was going to shave, and she's out taking a walk with our daughter, get some fresh air. Uh, yeah, I really want to see the look on her face because we started dating in 2010 and I think now, yeah, now I remember, I actually haven't shaved fully since 2010 because she liked my goatee, she liked the full beard, so I kept it growing. Uh, so yeah, it's been 10 years. Nice. 10 years. Well, thank you for watching. It's not the greatest uh, content that you can find online, I'm sure. But since you're all in confinement, bored out of your mind, I guess, you know, seeing a guy shave is um, just as good as anything else. So stay safe and uh, stay the fuck home. <laughs>